Hey out there, I'm Captain Billy Davis with Melton Hill Bill Fishing Guide Service. In the winter, we love to throw the Alabama rigs for breaking and striped bass. You know, these rigs work really well, but man, they're pricey. You lose one, it's $25. We've decided to make our own. By using products from MakeLure.com, we're able to make our own for pennies on the dollar, save a ton of money. Here's a video showing you how we do it. So this is basically all the material you're going to need to make your A-Rigs at home. And again, about half of this material comes from MakeLure.com. We're using 40 gauge wire, some 50 gauge wire for our striper rigs. Uh, a must is the Alumalite, Alumares white casting uh, material. Um, mold release, activator, high strength 2. This is what goes inside our A-Rig heads to hold the wires all together. This is a 3 16 pop rivet. Uh, your choice of swivel on the end of your A-Rigs, your choice of the size willow leaf you need. You're going to need quite a few of these arm sleeves for your spinners. Of course, you're going to need split rings, split ring pliers. Um, these are some of the, the heads that we like to use when we're striper and bass fishing. You can color your heads with this white res, any color you want. Uh, you're going to need crazy glue, the mirage eyes we get from Make Lure. And I like to use a gasket up on my A-Rig so when you collapse it, it stows nicely. But this segment we're really going to talk about the hardware. We're not going to talk about making the soft plastics. So what we've done here with corrugated box material that we've gotten from uh, MakeLure.com, this is a, uh, an A-Rig bought from the store, and this is a head that Milton Hill Bill really likes to use, catches a lot of big stripers on, on this rig. So we're going to reproduce this head. We're going we're to build a prototype. I've built a box here with um, my glue gun, so it's basically watertight. And we'll put high strength 2 in here, hang this, and break it out tomorrow and if we really like it then we'll we'll pour more um, and make a larger mold of four or five heads so we're getting ready to mix up our high strength two this is a 10 to 1 ratio and you really do need a set of scales to to do it right but we're going to pour just a very little bit of high strength two in here and then the uh, the agent that that activates it and then we'll pour once we mix it up really well we're going to pour it in here and suspend this uh, this head and again it'll be ready tomorrow this stuff is unbelievable So we've mixed up the uh, high strength 2 and the catalyst at a 10 to 1 ratio, the catalyst being the 1. And we've mixed this up with a, a big tongue depressor. And we're going to pour this in here. Uh, we're going to spray it with UMR mold release so it pops out really easy tomorrow. And then again, we'll start making molds of this and then we'll make a larger box. So we'll have a gang mold of four or five tomorrow. That's an example of what we're talking about. Nice. We're going to spray this store-bought head with uh, UMR mold release, and then we're going to add the high strength too, and then we're done with that for, oh, about 24 hours. Be sure not to cover up the entire head 
that you're trying to reproduce or you'd have to cut it out which is doable but it's easier not to cover it up So one thing you have to do is you have to remember that you're loading this A-rig continually. So always remember the first thing you have to do is you have to get your pop rivet in there, which you can see we've ground down so it'll fit in the head of the, uh, uh, the A-rig that we're going to make. So I'm going to put an end on this with this Hagen's wire bender. Put it in here. Trim it up. Always cover that up. Those little end pieces go flying. So now, this is the center part of Melton Hill Bill's A rig, and we're going to load the arms on here, and then we're going to um, pour the head. And it, this thing will be ready to fish. And honestly, you could fish this in about an hour from now. So when you're building the A-Rig, it's all about loading in the steps and trying not to miss a step. And you could even write out a recipe so you don't miss because sooner or later you're going to do it. We all do it. But this is a prime example of the main uh, arm rig. Um, it's got the, the pop rivet ground down. We, we chose to use a gasket on this one. Uh, the arm's got um, the A-Rig sleeve, uh, the split ring and the spinner. It comes down here. We've loaded the spring. You would add the swivel, uh, pinch it together, close the spring, and then this is uh, your end product, of course, uh, the hook and the lead head, and this is also um, all made by Make Lure Products, and we'll talk to you about building the swim baits in another segment. But we're getting ready to, to pour this one, but if you can see, all these arms have very small 90 degree bends in them. So you take the tip of your, a good set of needle nose pliers, bend it at a 90, and then everything comes down to that. And then you adjust your pop rivet. We'll put this in the mold, the head mold that we built, and we're gonna pour the, um, Aluma res in here, it'll set up, and then um, literally you can put some eyes on it and go fishing. So, we're going to film that here in just a moment. So, what I did right before I am getting ready to set this in my mold. I took it over to my grinder and I wanted to make sure that these 90 degree bends didn't really protrude out that would actually stick out of your final head that we're um, going to form here in a minute. And I also put a crimp in this pop rivet so we've got, we've got our depth set and now we're getting ready to pour. Okay, we're going to mix this Aluma Res at 50-50. This is some of the most amazing stuff. Once it hardens, you can't hardly break it with a hammer. The mold we're going to use came out of a, a head we're going to use, a head mold, came out of a do-it mold, as you can see. We poured that out of lead. We hung these, made a gang mold because we really liked it. And that's pretty much what the, the head of... Uh, of Bill's uh, A-Rig is going to look like. So we're going to mix this up, pour it, it'll be ready in about 15 minutes. 
you could again you could literally fish this thing about 45 minutes from now So we're ready to pour our head and I've got the pop rivet down in there, oh I don't know, probably uh, a quarter of an inch and we'll go right over the lip of that pop rivet, cover it up and it'll never be seen again. So this will cure in just a few minutes so we want to try to keep it as straight as possible so it'll try to move around a little bit so just anything to to keep that gang of five wires coming out of there straight. And we're going to build another A-rig right now and show you that the high strength tube will also accept molten lead. So you can have a, um, a polymer plastic head that's basically indestructible and then you can also have a lead head that sinks at about a foot a minute, a foot a second. So uh, different applications for these A-rigs. So this is about 10 minutes later from the original pour. Uh, remember this is a 50-50 mix of Make Lures Aluma Res, one of the most incredible hobby lure building products ever made. So we're going to break the mold here. When it turns milky white, you can see how hard it is. It was completely liquid about 10 minutes ago. So I like to, I like to kind of break it a little bit in the mold you can see it coming apart there and then I'll just ease it out and you now have an A-rig it's almost ready to go to the water yeah. so we just popped the plastic polymer head out and we walked down the bench to um, the, the lead pot so let me show you another thing that's really cool about this high strength tube from makelure.com is it'll take molten lead of course it won't melt and there we go that will be ready in just a few seconds and um, sometimes you want to go a little deeper for your bass or your stripers and sometimes you want to be on top this will allow you to go quite a bit deeper with the A-rig that you make at home so here we go just this fast. Look at that. Trim it up with some uh, lead pliers and put some uh, powder paint on it and you're ready to go to the water. All right. So this is our lead head A-rig. We're going to put a little color on it and make it come alive. So I'm going to heat it up a little bit. white painted we'll trim all this up put some eyes on it ready to go to the water So you can see we put our live eye on and we've spread the wires on the A-rig. We put our willow leaves where we wanted them and we've crimped them down um, halfway down the shaft. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You see how it floats. Just take a pair of pliers, go here, crimp it down fairly hard. And they're still movable. I just crimp one side. And then to close up love these springs because if this fails all you do is pop the spring up and put a brand new uh, swivel and, uh, and then safety snap on there so you close it like so 
slide it down and now you're ready for your swim baits. All for pennies on the dollar from makelure.com. Go for it. So as you can see, we've got a five arm rig. In Tennessee, we can only use three hooks. So we we need to put some, some of these dummies on the top arms with no hooks. So we're out of dummies. So, um, we found a swim bait that we really, really liked, and we made a, um, a mold of that. We'll tell you how to do that in another segment. But for time's sake, this is the final mold that we, we made. This is the final product. But um, Melton Hill Bill's going fishing this afternoon, so he needs two more dummies for this. So we're getting ready to melt some, um, some plastic, and all that is also from makelure.com. Okay, we just poured a, a swim bait that we made a mold for, so instead of going to a big box store, uh, we've got the color we want, and we can produce all we want. We're going to make, in the next few days, we're going to make gang molds of these in, in probably six, six pieces, so we'll be able to pour six at a time. So I'm going to break this one out and gently pull the tail. And there you go. So there is a swim bait that will eventually be put on that screw lock, but we'll trim it up and make it look pretty. We're going to pour one more here real quick. So within just a few minutes in the shop, now we're set up for it, but you can see we probably got um, $25 worth of an A-rig ready to go. That We picked the colors, we poured the plastics, we set the willow leaves where we wanted them, and now it's time to go get some big stripers on film with Melton Hill Bill and uh, all the Make Lure products that you can do yourself.